right, so I want to ask first of all how long you've been doing what you've been doing, what your background is. Yeah, I've been a, a test pilot at Patuxent River for over five years now, about 350 hours of developmental test, F-35Bs and Cs. Uh, and I went through US Naval Test Pilot School at, at PAX 2011-2012, class 141. And then my background before I went down the test pilot route is as a Harrier pilot uh, on four squadron with the Royal Air Force and 800 squadron uh, with the Royal Navy. Which has all led you to where we are today. How was it for you finally landing on board HMS Queen Elizabeth? It was fantastic. It, it was an incredibly proud moment and a satisfying moment uh, that I felt. It, it's almost indescribable just how hard people have been working to make this event happen. Uh, we've been working relentlessly for over two years considering every single aspect of this trial and of this day. Uh, and it went like clockwork, it went perfectly to, to plan. So uh, we're very, very proud of ourselves. Uh, we are incredibly satisfied with how it went, uh, but the focus immediately shifts onto what we now have to do. Because I know we're all very excited about two landings on the deck, that's 0.5% of what we're trying to achieve here. So we've enjoyed the moment and we're gonna move very swiftly on and get on with the rest of the job. So what is the rest of the job? The rest of the job is about uh, 214 unique test points uh, and that will include uh, ski jump stows, uh, it will include vertical landings and it will include the groundbreaking uh, shipboard rolling vertical landing. Now, we go back to the training, you've done hours and hours and hours of simulator training, um, but landing on board Queen Elizabeth, was the feeling the same from the simulator? Were there any surprises? That is a fantastic question, and I can hand on heart say that as I pulled up alongside in the hover, I had complete deja vu, and I thought back to the team at BAE Systems Wharton who have got a fantastic simulator facility and at Pax River with another fantastic representation of HMS Queen Elizabeth. And I thought of them and I thought, I've been here before. It was completely effortless. So this historic event was a total non-event, which is what we want in flight test. And you're an RAF pilot. You're here on a Royal Navy ship. Do you feel the difference or do you feel very much at home? I do feel at home, and that's because although I'm a Royal Air Force pilot, I spent half of my Royal Air Force career on a naval squadron. So uh, I do feel completely at home on a ship. Uh, I spent some time on uh, Ark Royal and Illustrious, and I was on USS America uh, two years ago conducting developmental tests uh, with the Integrated Test Force. Uh, so this is the fourth ship that I've been on, uh, and she's pretty big, and uh, that's enjoyable when you're hovering alongside. In terms of, um, you've flown the Harrier, you're now flying the F-35B, what are the main differences for you as a pilot? The main difference between Harrier and F-35B is workload. It's as simple as that. Uh, the Harrier was a challenge to keep in the hover and, and land precisely, and it is completely effortless in the F-35B. The computer takes uh, most of the workload away, uh, and it's left to the pilot just to finesse the landings, uh, which is great in benign sea states like it was today, but it's really important to reduce the overall workload for the pilot when it starts getting tricky, and that's what we're going to move on to. We're immediately going to go into nights, and then we're going to build up the high deck motion, the crosswind, the lateral asymmetry on, asymmetry on the jet. We're going to start to make it harder, but I tell you what, it's going to be a damn sight easier than it would be in a Harrier. Are there any nerves when you land on, or is it um, focused sort of anticipation? What, what, explain those emotions. I was incredibly relaxed, and that's testament to the amount of preparation that we've put into it. Uh, it was, as I said before, completely effortless. There was no stress, there were no nerves. It was a complete walk in the park.